so the way that um, The Lost Flowers of Alice Hart got published, my agent sent it out to Australian publishers uh, in December in 2016. Um, I think there was about like a three week reading period and uh, the sort of close of that period when offers were invited in from publishers on the book was the same day that I was due to land from Manchester um, in Brisbane to come home with my partner Sam. The surrealism, because leaving Manchester you lose two Australian days in the air. So while we were in the air, everything was ramping up to this final day when the offers would close. And on the plane from Manchester to Dubai, and then Dubai to Brisbane, Sam and I would just occasionally look at each other, you know, in that cramped space and in that zombie headspace and just be like, oh my God, do you think we'll get like one offer on the book from anyone? And he was like, you know, I believe, babe. And I was, I was just thinking, oh my God, I just hope I get one. Um, because you're so vulnerable and, and you know, it's the, it's the dream, it's my childhood dream. So we landed in Brisbane and we got home and offers closed at 5 p.m. And to my lifelong shock and delight and incredulous, giddy, surreal joy, my book, the manuscript went to auction. My agent rang me and said, okay, we're going to auction. We've had a number of offers. So that proceeded then, that was um, I think on a Monday, and that proceeded right through until Friday, back and forth and the anxiety and I wasn't sleeping and jet lag and I was a wraith and I couldn't believe it was happening. And then um, there was a pause over the weekend and um, throughout the incredible interest and the, the, the wonderful sort of responses that I'd gotten from publishers, um, on the Monday, I, I sort of really listened to my heart and my, and my gut and I said to my agent, I, it's HarperCollins, Let's, it's definitely HarperCollins. So he said to me, okay, away we go. At the same time, um, I had booked in that day a touch-up appointment for my first ever tattoo with uh, Samantha Smith. Uh, on the Gold Coast and so I went to the tattooist and it was going to take all afternoon and my very first tattoo um, is a visual symbolism of the lost flowers of Alice Hart which I got to mark finishing writing it and so I went to see her to see Samantha to get it re-inked and while I was on the table having the tattoo re-inked and touched up and coloured in um, my agent rang me and said, okay, you have a book deal and The Lost Flowers of Alice Hart will be published with HarperCollins Fourth Estate. And thankfully she stopped tattooing so we could scream. <laughs> Driving home with Sam in the golden colours of a Queensland summer afternoon, Catherine Milne rang me and we spoke for the first time. And I think probably the first 10 minutes of the conversation was just screaming. It was amazing, I'll never forget it. <laughs>